things was going good with my trucking business, gang. In addition to the blue semi I bought, I was able to buy another one. Thanks to the lucrative contracts Devin Weston set me up with. And my drivers was really making your boy proud for how they was handling business. Pacific Ocean. Picture me rolling on a mission to become a mogul. Like Nipsey told us, buy the block and get it out the struggle. That's how I'm coming. Marathon, how I'm running up numbers. I'm never tired. The game ain't been the same since the day that hustle died. Didn't want to get a job, but victim of stubborn pride till I had a child. Now I provide with a nine to five. Thugging and doing crime was making my mama cry. They treat us like I'm a star. My mission was to survive. Telling me I'm the greatest. I tell them they never lie. A product of the grind, aggressively chasing mine. I'm saying, blue face. New payment. I'm laughing at haters. We finally made it. I used to pray for the day that we finally so, made it. So, how's business been, Anthony? It looks like you guys are staying pretty busy around here. I definitely love to see it. Well, things have actually been going great, Mr. Weston. I really appreciate all the help and guidance you've given me in getting things up and running. Don't mention it. We all need friends. You'll learn in this corporate world that relationships are one of the only things that matter. I hope one day I'll be able to call in a favor from you. Oh, absolutely. If that day ever comes, anything you need, Mr. Weston, consider it done. That's what I like to hear, buddy. But I have a meeting in an hour. I'll be in touch. So later on that day, I had got word that my little cousin G Stone was shooting a music video in the hood. Went from counting my blessings to count paper. I'm saying blue faces, new payment. They said he had brought out ESTG and Lil Dirt. I went from counting my blessings to count paper. I'm saying. I was real surprised I didn't get an invite, so y'all know I had to pull up and see what's up. Plus, I have some business I wanted to discuss with him. Yeah, no rap cap. Hey, it's funny. The director was so pissed I drove into the shop, he stopped shooting the video. Cause everything good with you, you sure ain't been picking up the phone for me. And you ain't even tell your big cousin that you was having a video shoot. Honestly, cuz, the only reason I ain't invite you out here to this video shoot is because I thought you would be doing something better like handling business. I hope we good, look cuz. It ain't like that, cuz. Matter of fact, let me introduce you to everybody. So I ended up meeting the STGM with Dirk. They definitely were some cool ass niggas for real. I told both of them boys, keep going with the music. I got some niggas, they fighting indictments, they chill on the yard and they cool with the lights. I be so high on the jet with the pilot. Just gave a shot at your ass, she liked it. I with this money, get me so excited. Let me holler at you real quick. I like y'all, everybody take a little break now. We gonna continue this video show within the next 30 minutes, all right? This nigga G Stone was acting real funny, y'all. I ain't know what he was on. Never stop working, never stop serving. Hey, cuz, I solved our drought problem, man. I don't ran into a club with bowls of that ice, man. What's up, you want in? Ice cup? Yeah, I don't know how to move that, man. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick to my little house as a soft I'll be copping, cuz. Yeah, nigga, it look like you moving more than just a little couple ounces of soft while you doing it out here, cuz. So what you trying to say, cuz? Cuz I think you really just mad cuz I ain't trying to deal with the ice. Look, I put up a bunch of money before the drought hit. That's how I'm doing what I'm doing right now. You really tripping trying to make this more than what it is. Yeah, all right, cuz. 
Cause I hear you, man. Let me find out you done ran off and found you a plug by yourself and ain't cutting in. Shit, I took care of you and I had it, so I know we ain't moving like that, cuz. Not at all, cuz. Matter of fact, come hop in this music video with me. Well, cuz was moving real shady, but for now, I was just gonna play along and hop in this music video. I felt like it was only one person that could turn G-Stone against me. Now, I couldn't confirm my suspicions, but I'm pretty sure he was in cahoots with Frank. Never stop working. Never stop working. I grew up streak. You grew up nervous. Never stop working. Never stop serving. I got millions. I flex on purpose. Never stop working. Never stop working. I grew up streak. You grew up nervous. Never stop working. Never stop serving. I got millions. I flex on purpose. I'ma get up out of here, cuz, but if you change your mind about that thing, get with me. That shit a game changer, look, cuz, I'm telling you. You already know I will, but see safe out there on them streets, cuz. I love you, boy. Call me later. All right, everybody, director, man. Let's get back to shooting this music video, man. Cause we ain't gonna be out here all day. Time is money, man. How this situation with me and Frank was tearing the family apart. I ain't want Lamar to die. Lord knows I love my big cousin. But anyway, so after that, I was off to meet Trevor in the Lost in the Desert. right there hopefully that cover the supplies for this next batch we finna cook up i ain't gonna lie this shit been moving so crazy i'm trying to tell my people this the new way they gonna learn eventually though oh yeah compadre this right here covers everything in the sun i'm not gonna lie i was a little hesitant when my little sister brought you around but you do good business and as a man i appreciate that you're all right with me, man. Likewise, man. Your sister a genius, homie. You gotta have faith in her. But I'm finna get up out of here. Oh, what the fuck is that? Man, T, what kind of bullshit you got going on, cuz? Man, you could've gave me a warning or something, homie. This shit hot. It's gotta be that fucker Ortega and the Aztecas. Shall we dance, homeboy? Now, I ain't know what I got myself into, but your boy was finna get out here and be cracked.
And I had T, you gonna have to fill me in on what's going on if we gonna continue doing business with each other. All right, and well, how can I put this? There is a war going on for the meth trade out here in the desert between us and this guy named Ortega. Now, I blew up one of his meth labs a couple of days ago, and it looks like he's real pissed about that. Now, I'm not asking you to take on our beef, so you can get up out of here if you want to. Shit, I'm a part of it whether I like it or not, T. Them boys took a shot at me, and don't nobody do that and get away with it. Let's destroy these clowns. Let's do it, brother. I'll fill you in on the details. Tells later now get out of here. Yeah, hey, you have to tell me twice, gang. Today was just one of them days, man. Between everything that went on today, your boy I just needed to relax and clear my head. So later on that night, I hit up the palace to just chill and have me a couple drinks. Trying to juggle this legal and street life was so hard, man. My own family cut me out of the circle. And I was in yet another war. I just needed somebody to talk to. So I called Jessica to join me and have a couple drinks. What's up, Ant? I got here as soon as I could. Man, you look really stressed. Talk to me. No, I ain't gonna lie, maybe it was the liquor, but in my head, I'm like, damn, Jessica looking good. Man, Jess, it seemed like I'm always trying to do right, but trouble always seemed to find me. You're a strong guy, and you cannot let the world get you down. Yeah, that's easier said than done, but between trying to juggle the street life and this corporate life, family issues, and the stuff that I got going on with your brother, man, it felt like my feet giving out underneath me. I feel so washed up. <laughs> washed up? Well, I'll take your version of washed up any day. You're a multi-millionaire. Yeah, I hear you. But it's just some things that the money can't fix, yes. So while we talking, a bottle of champagne come to our table. And I ain't order it. That shit was weird. Hi, ah, here we are. A bottle of champagne for the lady. Would you like to tip? Hey, hold on, hold on, sweetheart. I did not order this champagne. Jess, did you? Courtesy of the gentleman at the bar. Hey, Mark, this. Now I'm like, all right, who the fuck playing games with me? And I look over to the bar and see a light-skinned nigga with dredge. Who the fuck is cuz? Now I ain't never seen him, but I can see he was some Englewood family members. So in my head, I'm going, okay, this finna be trouble. Then a the nigga start walking over towards us. I on 6 0, y'all know I ain't ducking no wreck, but I got Jessica with me. So I need to try to get her up out of here safely. What's up, beautiful? I see you got that bottle of champagne I sent you. Well, there's plenty more where that came from. Now, what you doing sitting over here with lanes? Lane? Man, I'm on six, so I hop up on cuz. Hey, cuz, do I know you or something? Are you stepping off in our section? Anyways, baby, you need to be leaving up out this club with a real boss tonight. Hey, cuz, you hear me talking to you, nigga. Don't ignore me. Now, like I said, who the fuck are you? And why you over here in my section bothering us? The lady strike, keep your little bottle. Hey, blood, I don't know who you talking to, but you need to go ahead and get up out of here while it's still safe for you, homie. Now, I came here to have some fun tonight, blood, but it's a coincidence that I should run into you, low man. Yeah, nigga, you ain't think I know you. All right, cuz. So you do know me. So that means you should know. Now, I don't play no games out here on these streets. A lot of your homeboys know about me, ask them. It seems like you trying to get into some real gangster shit up in this club, cuz. But this ain't the time or the place for that. So I'm gonna need you to go on here and move out me and the ladies' way. Matter of fact, you look kinda familiar. Now that I gotta look at you. Then I ain't here, bust of blood. And no, you don't know me, nigga. But you definitely knew my cousin, Joe Hun, bitch ass, nigga. Oh yeah, nigga, on 6 0, oh, fuck your cousin. Oh yeah, blood, you real disrespectful. But I'm gonna give you a pass, cuz you with the pretty lady. But I'm gonna be seeing you around. I already knew what that meant, gang. So I needed to get me and Jessica up out of here safely. Don't pay attention to that clown. Come on, Jess, let's get up out of here. I think we all stay at our walk. -on. So we made our way to the parking lot. Let's 
sorry you had to see that, Jess. I was just trying to have a good time. But I don't know what be wrong with fools thinking they can just test my gangster. It's fine, and I've seen my brother get into plenty of bar fights. But that guy was really weird. Are you sure you're gonna be all right? Oh, uh, you worried about me. But yeah, Jess, I'm gonna be straight. These fools know who to play with, and I ain't one of them. Hey, blood. So what was all that rah-rah shit you was just talking in the club? Yeah, we out here now. Man, not this nigga again. Nigga, you heard me. Me and my bloods ain't tolerating no disrespect about my big buzz and Joe Hun. Nigga, what's up? We out here now. Let's get into that gangster shit you was just talking about in there. Get out of here, Jess. I'm gonna meet you at my crib once I handle this. Aunt, wait. Are you sure? Yes, just go now. Okay, Aunt, but please don't die. Jess, I promise you I'm not no ghost. What's up, nigga? On 6-0, I ain't running. And like I said in the club, nigga, fuck your cousin. He killed the wrong OG from our hood. That's why his bitch ass run, fool, now. Nigga, fuck your cousin, Jiro. He died because of your bitch ass cousin, Franklin. Man, cuz. Fuck all this talking on 6 O's, we finna get it cracking or not. Man, let's kill this nigga. Man, gang, a local life was flashing right before his eyes. I wasn't finna die, though. Dead man blood on family's gang. I'm gonna keep playing you and all your people. I seen this wasn't going nowhere, gang. And I had to get the fuck up out of there before one time they showed up. I had no target on my list. That nigga here busted out the dock. Well, no more of my family members gonna go. So after that, I pulled back up to the crib. Man, gang, I swear I had one of the craziest days that any nigga ever had. When I walked through the door, just sitting on the couch looking like she's just singing the ghost. Oh my god, and I was so worried. I thought I would never see you again. Don't scare me like that. I'm sorry I had you worried and put you in that situation, Jess. But I told you I was gonna make it back here, and those fools couldn't see me. Well, tonight made me realize something. I don't ever want to lose you, Aunt. I care about you. Is that right? So what you saying then, Jess? After that game, one thing led to another. Man, I kind of felt bad because I already had a girl. I don't know, maybe it was just the heat of the moment that made me do what I did. But anyways, while we laying there trying to get some sleep, man, my phone keep going off. I keep trying to ignore it, but somebody blowing me up. So after a while, I got irritated, so I finally got up to answer and see who it was. Hello? What's going on, Keish? Hold on, hold on, what? Wait, wait. Calm down, calm down. I cannot understand you. All right, I'm on my way. Hey, Jess, I gotta go. I got some family business to attend to. When you wake up in the morning, just let yourself out, all right? Now, Frank baby mama was so hysterical on the phone, I couldn't really make out what she was trying to tell me. But I knew I had to get over there as quick as possible. Well, I've been thinking on my way over there, it's like, man, what does girl get herself into? If they catch me slipping on once in a crunch and they ask to the door, and they ask to the door, them niggas bitches and they claiming they slum. How the fuck they won't walk with me, niggas some hoes? How the fuck they won't walk with Z? I'm the type running chopper on toe with me. I'm gonna catch them up, keep on the port in the air. 26 double O, man. 26 way, 26 K, 5th eye shit, dumbass nigga.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Catch out of bounds, get sad, catch out of track, get smacked. Now, when I get inside the crib, I see Keish in there. She bought up in a fetal position, crying. I see a dead Englewood family member on the floor. It's a gun on the floor. And I see my little cousin Deuce in the corner crying. Keish, what the fuck happened, man? Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. Listen, I'm going to take care of this. Don't worry about nothing. You and Deuce get up out of here. It's some money in my car. You and Deuce go get a hotel room for the night, but we still got to talk about this. Here I go cleaning up family mess again, man. I can't catch a break.